Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lillian tonight, along with... PSM First Midrack Kiel at your service. And welcome to a new side quest that we'll be starting on, which is, well, Dredge. Version 1.04, to be exact. And, uh, yeah, th this game... I. It isn't like a massive hit or something, but it is uh, like it is a more recent game that we typically play. And from what little I had seen beforehand, 
<laughs> I was already interested and well, then I bought it, played it for a few hours, uh, played it a bit more than I intended to, and uh, I haven't finished it, so a good chunk of this game is still new to me, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I decided there and there that we would stream this, and well, here we are. Yeah, and... uh, again, yeah, as you said, it blew up, but it has made an effect. Many do like it, so I think it will spread. Yeah. Speaking of spread, those storm clouds are going quite a bit. Job listing. Angler wanted. Well, game over. <laughs> Yeah, that's a literal fog. <laughs> the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet deck where you collapsed the night before. <clears throat> Pardon me, just back from dinner. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarging from the boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. <laughs> Hello, Doug Glacier Boy. <laughs> Hello, Glacier Boy! Uh, I hope I'm at least more entertaining than elevated music. <laughs> Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right out to you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman. Uh, uh, there are new fishermen upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. And he isn't, he isn't lying on that. Okay. Yeah, and that frog is unnatural considering what it just did. I didn't pay attention the first time I saw the trailer, uh, this video. That there's some unnatural with the frog and it blocks out, blocks out a lighthouse light. Yep. Yeah. Okay, over here we have our cargo of our ship. We can expand this later on. Uh, this is how much damage we can take. This is how fast our boat is at currently. How, how strong the lights on our boat are. And, well, we have no lights, so uh, we really want to hurry back once it starts to get dark. And we have our fishing speeds. And how which types of fish that we can catch at the moment. Over here we have our... Well... <laughs> a quite little... Uh, how would... How would he, a little cork board. Uh, where we put up our uh, quests and such. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Wanted me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. A bit dramatic. <laughs> okay, I had actually read these before. Beyond the task, so... <laughs> our fisherman is someone of few words. Next up, we have a map here. They're starting dead center. And we will be getting to all of these places sooner or later. Then we have messages that we found. There are 12 total, it seems. And we have an encyclopedia of all the fish that we can caught in the area. Uh, let's, let's see if we can dredge up some fish. <laughs> now, fish are, uh, fish <laughs> are fished. <laughs> Dredged is what you do to salvage. Which we can't do at the moment. But we'll get to that later. For now, on dock. Move forward with W, S to reverse, turn with A and D, and you might notice that time isn't actually moving. That's because it only moves when we do. Oh dear. So, yeah, it takes about half an hour just to get out of the bay here at the moment. Yeah, let's oh, just move around a bit there. Yeah, that, that makes it uh, like a slow boat. 
Yeah, we can upgrade the speed later, but first we need some fish. Now, the time time will only move when we are moving, sort of like a, a fishy version of uh, Super Hot. Super hot? Yeah, Super Hot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two brains, one body, or two bodies, one brain, like with the two of us sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the time will only move when we are moving or when we are fishing. Each of these have their own little mini game, or there are a few mini games with this. And we've cut ourselves a blue mackerel. We can stuff that in there. How much of these? How much? How many more fish there are to well, fish? Is said here. I don't know if there's any but anything really special about keeping to a certain stock. But let's give that a try at the very least. So we're just going to catch another fish. Hitting the green area speeds up the progress, which takes it. Le which means it'll take less time. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, at the moment it doesn't mean too much, but we do want, uh, we will want to be careful with that later on. Now the stock is low, let's risk one more fish. There we go. And yeah, let's find a different spot. Yeah, I don't know I, if there's I, anything specific about leaving them. Maybe they'll repopulate faster. I, I, I could have to read out about Glacier Brothers down here. Uh, Said. <laughs> Bloody heck. Come crazy boy. Time, time, is it moving? My motion. <laughs> what, why did I make C noises? Okay. We can rotate things with the right mouse <laughs> button. To make them fit in better. Yeah, let's get one more here. Oh dear. There we go. Another card. And... Let's see, can we fish up some eels over here? Time on events is only when you're moving, fishing, or making other tasks. Okay, that little symbol means that we don't have the equipment to fish these. So we'll have to find different ones. Like these here, That's, it's more about the depth of the fish themselves than the spots. These are, well, <laughs> these are swimming up high, so we can reach them. We can get a good amount still. <laughs> yeah. I want as well, Daglish. I want as well. Okay, risk one more. I think I, I, I tried to do some derpy sound, but it just came out wrong. Okay, we have three hours to go. Let's get a few more fish. And then head back. Okay, some more cod. Oh, yellow stripe. That means we catch a big one, a, a trophy class fish, which are worth more. Okay, final one. Okay, and now we head back. As you can see, the sun is going down and it is starting to grow darker. Select your lights by holding E and Tom. Yep, but we don't have any lights at the moment. Well, we have a single light, <laughs> so that isn't going to help much. And yeah, once it hits seven, then it goes completely dark. And then we'll just dock. There we go. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessels, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish shells will go toward paying it off. A small amount of interest will go toward improving the town. So, to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local markets, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it? 
After you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Yep, now we have access to the fishmonger over here, and we need, well, this is a cheap ass boat if we they just want $50 for it. We enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counters. I have confused these flies here for actual freaking flies on my screen a few times. <laughs> yeah, I can't understand why. You're the new fisherman, um... eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns and other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt, out, out, stand, a debt outstanding here, I can never say that word correctly at the first time of that lot. <laughs> I you know, suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see where you've got. Now, we've got <laughs> some decent sized ones. 15 centimeters, uh, 18 centimeters, 21. And we have a cod of a <laughs> full freaking meter. Half a meter. Oh, yeah, that, that thing is big. 67 centimeters, 88 centimeters. And, yeah, we could just move all of these over, but we can also just sell them all at the same time. There we go. That dealt with half of our debt uh, debt already, and yeah, that's that. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Hmm. Look here, I found this town. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Yeah, he gives us a research part. A curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, uh, but would need some, uh, some investigation at a dock first. Yeah, that is for the research system of this game. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentions he might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her, you should pay her a visit. To the shipwright. <laughs> As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before ba turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything uh, thing takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures toward the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it'll, it takes to install. So plan ahead. Okay. What she has oh. offered right now are some fishing rods, an engine type, trawl nets, which we don't have access to yet, and lights. And we'll probably want one of these, huh? Yeah. Okay, we, she has a simple skimmer and a, one with a weighted line. Both of these allow for fishing in shallow waters. And currently we only have our basic fishing pole. Okay, da, da, da. Plus 35% fishing speed, which is pretty uh, decent. Uh, but... Yeah, this one gives plus 40. But for now, we'll just want a, nor a standard one. So, just gotta... Here we go, hold and install it. She will work 24 hours a day. When she sleeps, nobody knows. So yeah, now we can f fish in coastal and shallow waters. Or for coastal and shallow fish. Over here, we have the engine. Uh, these look the... Yeah, these are just the same. They give plus 10 knots of speed. An old rusty engine. Won't get far with this. And we have our basic one here, a peculiar engine. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did in it seemed to have given it more power than normal. In which it gives 14 knots. So we'll want one of these extra, but we won't want to swap this one out yet until we get something better. Okay, and 
Who sells rusty engines for a hundred dollars? Uh, well, that's probably why they are only one hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, typically it would cost a lot more, especially on a place where you have the only store that will sell stuff like that. <clears throat> okay. Oh. We can't afford a light source yet. And I'll definitely want one of these. But first the light bulb, I would say. And yeah, we have repair mode here. Any damage that we undertake gets put as one of these you know, blocks here. Which can mean that stuff of you know, your equipment can get disabled. So we will definitely want to repair stuff. <laughs> even when you get um, yeah, when you get to town. Oh dear. Let's see. Encyclopedia, blue mackerel, and cards. <laughs> Practically worthless. Hmm? <laughs> That's some good quality rust, really. <laughs> good point, Glacier Boy. Okay. The encyclopedia shows, well, the type of fish, the number that they have, and where you can find them, how much they're generally worth, and the biggest one you have so far. Mackerel, well, they coastal. They can be caught in the marrows. They are $10 each, about, or on average. They can be caught during the day and by fishing with rods or by throwing this ocean as you go. Cod, also coastal, plentiful and basic. Also the very same, though they are almost double worth, and they only take up one extra slot. There's also these. We'll see about those later. For now, that is all we have. So let's just go to the storage short quick, put that away so it isn't actually taking up any space. And let's sleep. Yeah. It kind of is funny. There's not many games where we get, we get to play that you actually get to drive a boat. <laughs> actually, this is probably the first time. Like, I'm not gonna count Shantae, but that's more forced travel than driving or sailing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, here's where here's the research that we can do. You can, you know, you can guess what this is. How many of these are under is how many parts it takes. So we could unlock the hydraulic rods, which means that we don't get it, but we do unlock it in the stores. And yeah, the hydraulic rod is a pretty good one to start with, since it gives plus fifty fishing speed and will be the first thing that we can get that allows us to catch oceanic fish. Ooh. We also have the engine here, improved outboard engine. Efficient propeller design makes it a reasonable engine to you know, for, you know, for those on a budget. And these two aren't available to us yet. So for now, let's just get the hydraulic rod. Yeah, research complete, now available at stores. It is going to pre be pricey though, at $410. Which seems pricey now, but as we get better at fishing and, well, catch more and bigger fish, we will get through our... <clears throat> we will get gain money quite a lot faster. For now, let's give the mayor another visit. Uh, let's see. I'd like to pay off some of my debt. Of course, how much would you like to repay? Yeah, we might as well pay off all of it immediately to be done with that. Now, what else can I do for you? Yep, hello. That was new. Why is... Okay, the bell is actually moving back there. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> yeah, but... Hmm. Ricky? I want to ask about the wider region. Certainly. Is there something in particular you wish to know more about? How about the Gale Cliffs? Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. Uh, it's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Is there another area? Yep. Uh, let's see. Glacier Boy. Money to get better rusty equipment. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, things you've already talked about are grayed out. Hmm. The Stellar Basin. Quite a pop. Why does that keep ringing? Quite a popular town destination. Or, or, 
popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety, you know, wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those? And then we have the Twisted Strand. Hmm. I don't think there's much to tell, it's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'd want some good lights and sense of direction if you're, go if you're to go exploring there. And last but not least, there is the Devil's Spine. Ah yes, it's quite exciting really. An active volcano among a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano that uh, would corrupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling if you're from here. <laughs> uh, must have been a whale of a time. <laughs> and yeah, we'll be visiting each of those. Let's see, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm? The last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He got, he'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright always ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left, never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. And that's about all we can ask about at the moment. So, let's just head out again. Yeah, that sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Has these restocked? No, they're still low. I'll, I'll, I'll keep them around. I won't fish them out completely dry, and uh, and see if that makes them recover faster. So over here we have some disturbed water. It will oh. show you the shape of the fish that you are looking at, though you can see that underwater as well. I so recognize have the fish. As, yeah. So you can have a guess at how many, how much space it'll take up. Actually, I don't know what it's called in English. A flounder. Oh, we, we call it something else in Swedish. You know, what then? Just freaking rug fish? Plattfisk. Uh, that's Platt what it's called over here as well. Plat, uh, plotfish. <laughs> Plotfish. <laughs> well, uh, can you deny the result? Nope, missed. The result. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, yeah, if if you miss the press, you will set ba you set yourself back for a bit, and you won't be able to get any of the other spots uh, for a short bit. Something you'll want to avoid, of course. Go and yep, yep. <laughs> I noticed I forgot to look at the sock. So yeah, this split, this spot is now depleted, and we'll stay away until it's respit you know, somewhat. Okay, let's get some cards since we have stock for that. Yep, and depleted this one as well. So, so much for not depleting everything, huh? And almost <laughs> correct, Glacier Boy. Just remove the E. Yep, we can go for some eels. And immediately get a, a trophy one of almost a meter. And we have space for one more. You can't let it pass by the green spots. It, it's, it only penalizes you if you uh, press F in the wrong spots. Okay, we have room for a little bit more. So let's but get a macro. Really, uh, yeah, just two, one, two there. I, I saw some strange in the water. And that's something okay. that over there glowing. Yeah, you mean there? Uh, no, no, the, behind you. Oh, over there. Yeah. The, Is that? Why does that one look different from the others? Because it's a bottle. Oh, so it. So it was. I thought, okay, that's something strange there. Then I saw the other lights. I thought, okay, maybe it's. No, it's not a buoy. What is that? 
so we can ex we can inspect stuff on land if we get close enough. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose ex exhausted? The lighthouse towers above. Yeah, fat lot of good that did us when we were on approach. <laughs> But it's a normal lighthouse, and not a supernatural one. <laughs> I think. Okay. We are safe oh. from everything in the cay, in the bay here, or cay. I, I, I don't know enough about uh, water geology to say what this specifically is. It's... The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partially to your efforts, Greater Mara is growing. The town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted the consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allowed some money to improve the fishmonger services. We might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. Well, and we're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Not like we have much of a choice to leave now, in this yeah, crappy little tin can. Is it from Glacier, or is it normal? It is a code, I think. Okay. And also, yeah. I was also to say that... What if the lighthouse is cursed to make fog? Hmm. We'll have the, to find out. Yeah, but blood, that, that will be twisted. Let's see. I've had a special order come, in, uh, come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about the order. Mm. They've asked for one gold flower and one grey uh, flounder. That's flower. And one grey eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water air fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. To sort that for you, <laughs> and we already got that anyways. So <laughs> speed running. And yeah, whenever you have a fish for an order, he will ask this. So yes, just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. To explain why you can just come and go and add these. So yeah, one flounder and one gray eel, and we get fifty for that. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Mm. Good, good. They should be pleased with, the, pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. What nights are like around here. Good luck. Oh, Don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it in, on the high seas. Okay, so let's just sell what we have left for one hundred dollars. Go to town, and let's take a look at the dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scrap, that sort of thing. Let's see, how do I get materials? Plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what you uh, of what we need. Yeah, similar to the fish orders, we can also just put stuff that we have in here for when we are ready for to get them. Because we need both the materials and money to get these. And this is the entirety of it. So we have four tiers, you could say. The first tier, then tier two upgrades, tier three, and tier four. Each of the tier upgrades gives more <coughs> gives more cargo space, and we can sustain one more point of damage. But as you can see, they are pricey. Now we have access to plus two rod spaces, plus four net spaces, plus two engine spaces, and plus one light space. 
This is the big one that we'll want at the moment. So for that we'll need to find two scrap metals and one plank. We can't pay up front, so let's instead put that money to use on getting a lamp. And we might as well get a decent one for 180. It will leave us practically broke. But we will be able to see a front of our face when we uh, do head out now. Also, you probably noticed this already here in the background. What the heck? Yeah, there is something going on. But for now, we will have to risk going out to get those squids and such. And things get a whole lot more quiet. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I'm gonna need to turn off the light. Please. <laughs> And I used no, no, a few seconds ago to turn it back on. <laughs> okay. okay, let's see. Some squids. There we go. One arrow squids. Let's see. Oh, come on, my brain. Really? What? Arrow squid, take a guess. <laughs> now, where's my bow? I have a few fr friends I want to shoot at that. Okay, that's all the squid we can get right here. The eye up in the middle, that's our panic meter. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. For now though... Nope. And there we go. Another eel. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. So, yeah. Though it did say something about the lights earlier when we got unlocked. Because it will fight off... It will help fight off the panic. But it will also make us a lot more visible. Yeah. Oh, it was just the chimney on the boat. I thought so something swimming away from you. <laughs> no. And there's a black grouper. So we should have all we need for that order. Uh, so uh, oh. let's just get the hell back. Yeah, uh, don't worry, Ledger Boy. The arrow squid is not for you. <laughs> it's for, uh, one of the friends is a certain captain. I think you all know dearly and belovedly. I hope I... Said that. Uh, F full board, full board, what, whatever Satan she use to the harbor, to the harbor. Okay. <laughs> uh. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? Why have we come here? To fish, to me see the area, meet people. Well, we were hired for fit where we came here to fish, so. <sighs> There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shovels back along the path that leads to the light. Okay. Let's sell these fish before they go stale. Yep, we got what we need. Or we, we've got what you want at the very least, so. <laughs> Two squids and one big ass black grouper. This manga wraps them up. I didn't, I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Hmm. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a little banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. Yep, this is another way of fishing that we can do. Deploy a crab pot, don't forget where you put it. Should be pretty yeah. straightforward. Just drop it out yeah. at sea anywhere, and then come back oh. after a day or two to check on it. Oh dear god. And also, this boy is doing it. The just the expression I had earlier when the eyes appeared in the water. Yeah. <laughs> so much for this, this place being safe as I thought it was. Look, look, look near the clock. 
What, the eye? Or what? It's, we we been spying on all, the, all this time! <laughs> no, the, the eye is the panic meter. It shows how panicked our character is. Oh, okay. As you can see, they are a bit twitchy. Let's see. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. <sighs> Lousy weather lately. Almost makes you not want to get out of bed. But you and I, you gotta do it, eh? We're what keeps people we're what keeps people from going hungry. And yeah, he will sell us more crab pots. We can research better versions than these, since these ones last for one uh, for three days maximum, and for each day they will catch one or two crabs. They have an inventory space of three by three, which is important because well, the more space they have, the more crabs they can hold. For now, though, let's sell the fish that we have. And let's go pay the mayor a visit. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out, uh, sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Okay. Small package. Contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped mass of shapes. Okay. There's the bell going off again. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string, dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Uh, please be quick about it, I don't want it to spoil. Well, maybe you should have given it to, <laughs> to us during the day then. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Let's see, does it actually... Okay, it doesn't have a spoilage rate, it seems. Because, yeah, if we wait with fish, they will start to drop in... <clears throat> they will start to uh, drop in quality and thus in price. So you don't want to just go fish something and then just sail around for like half a week before you actually bring it in. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. Okay. That now... Actually, I begin a bonus point for that little real life logic. Like, you don't want to do that to fish unless you have a very good freezer. Okay. okay. Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. We can repair that here. Uh, yeah, these crab pots, they are pretty easy to repair. Only seven and a half each, I believe. But we're not here to fix that. We're here to get one of these. There we go. Install that for two hours. And with that, we can actually risk going out now. Yep. Oh, dear. S select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with right mouse. Do, do, don't we need to repair it first? Uh, it, the only thing that is damaged about it is that it can it will last only a day less. So two days at the max, and once we repair it, it'll re it'll last that amount of time anyways. So we might as well get a bit of crab out of it before. So yeah, it just gets tossed over the edge. <laughs> okay. Now we have almost double speed, so let's double time it across to deliver that package to Little Marrow over here. Okay. Oh, hello. The heck? Bye-bye. Uh, hmm? What? Delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. We can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Hmm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. And to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. 25. Okay. I was given this old book a few, a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You just really get more use out of it. Yep. Yeah, we get sustainable fishing. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Mm, yeah. Now we have... Yep. Something on our bookshelf. Sustainable fishing. And yeah, we can start to read it, but we won't read it immediately. We'll read it as we go. And we won't right. know what it does until we have read it. So yeah, that is something we can... Uh, that is a bit of progress that we can make as we're just going around. 
Let's see. Our pursuits. The fishmonger at Greater Marrow received a special order from a customer. He says he would pay me well for the order. Yeah, he wants two crabs. Deliver the package. Mayor of Greater Marrow asked me to deliver a package to the dock worker at Little Marrow, which is to the east. The package feels quite dense and damp. Something is seeping through the paper. Curious, but I won't open it. Probably for the better. Hmm. Oh dear. And that message that we pasted up. Let's see. 20th of August, 1927. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here, the layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. <clears throat> he did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. You can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. <laughs> Aww. That's kind of sweet. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Mackerel, cards, and the grey eel, which is worth as much as a cod, about. Just shaped differently. Squids, who are, which are more, <coughs> which give more money per square. But again, we have to, they are only fished up during the night. Eels are during both day and night. The golf flounder. is a bit less worth the amount per square. Uh, about half, actually. Four and a half per square. Whereas the arrow squid is seven per square. And these are five per square. And then the black grouper. I forgot to read the text out with them. Rises from the depth at night, uh, depths at night to feed, will be fed upon. And a slimy creature tainted with the silt and muck of the seabed. <laughs> a pathetic, cowardly, bottom-dwelling fish. Really? <laughs> you gotta kick in man who else they're down. Uh. Yeah, it, many fisher folks do that actually. <laughs> I, I actually, I don't mean they actually kick the fish, I mean like... Yeah, basically describe it like that. Yeah, they don't like it because there's just not a lot of flesh on that thing. A lot of bone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're, they're all apparently easy to cook and uh, easy to catch. I th hmm. I thought during that playthrough that I did, or at least not playthrough, but the, for the time that I played before, I think it said something like that. Like, does it say something different whilst we catch them? Hmm. We'll have to keep an eye on that when we catch a new fish. Anyways, the black grouper. A short, stocky fish with a muddled black coloring. Perfect camouflage in the black waters of night, which are the most pricey ones that we can catch at the moment. And beyond that, we haven't found any of the other fish around. So, there is little to do here. There is the trader here. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my hours aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Yeah, we will be able to find uh, fish up uh, yeah, jewelry and such. But we can't at the moment. So yeah, uh, there's no need for us to talk. D did you notice the writing in his book? Yeah, it's, it's not a book, he's writing on a piece of paper. Oh, uh, yeah, the next the paper, the next to the book. Uh, yeah, that, that's a warning sign. Yeah. <laughs> this place has not so many red flags, it might as well be the national flag. Uh, uh, just correction. 
it's nothing wrong that he writes. Writing is fine. However, the symbols that he's writing with yeah. looks suspiciously eldritch. How's the day treating him? What's it like working on the docks? As changeable as the weather. <laughs> Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay is not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a tee. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on those seas every day. And that's all they have to say. So, let's just get back and catch some fish. Let's see, some more flounders here. Yeah, we might as well use them to fill up the stock. Yeah, uh, uh, something I never got about flounders. Uh, my brain, we, we just want to call them flat fish. And that is... The, it's the kind of like how they evolve. Like when you, you get the evolved flat, sure. But the f when you look at the face, though, yeah, it's sideways. Yeah, it, almost like the, both eyes are on top, but the mouth. It, it's like that you took the mouth and twisted it. Like yeah. it has. It's a, like one side of the mouth is bigger than the other. So they, they had twisted the entire yaw. You'd have to ask a marine biologist about that. Yeah. I, I, I just pointing out that that's something I, I, that confuses me. So I am probably going to look that up for. It is weird. Let's see. Glacier Boy, I'm going to have to leave, but I will watch the bit and the vault tomorrow. Okay, see you then. Or, well, not see you then, because we, you will be seeing us, but we won't be seeing you. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you for joining, Glacier Boy. I hope you had fun. And may the yeah. shoe be enjoyable when you return to it. <laughs> yeah. A floating boy... Uh, boy? I, I, I forgot forgotten the word already. Boy? Boy! Boy, yeah. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides and provides a brief respite to the gloom in the gloom of the night. Okay, and here we have the crab pot that we threw out. This light will indicate how uh, <clears throat> how if it is still active or not. If the light is out, then well, the trap is out. Yeah. The, uh, the reason why you should have repaired it is for, well... What uses a, is a broken crab trap if the crab just gets out of it? Yeah, they, they can't escape, but we might as well get a bit of money out of it before we, we repair it. Yeah, see ya, Glacier Boy. Be okay. safe, Glacier Boy! Keep an and eye out for larger well. fish. Yep, yep. May you sleep well, yeah. Keep an eye out for larger fish. They'll feed more mouths so I can pay you more for them. And yeah, we need these flounders aren't really worth it since they, we only get like 18 from them. Okay, but we still get 130 from this, mostly from the cards. Yeah. Which means that we can go get another upgrade. Also, I noticed another red flag here. Ah. Oh. Apparently, the town's entire livelihood depends on the fish. Yep. Now, these are little islands. It's not like they can grow much food on land. Hmm. Yeah, but you expect all the trade vessels and such to come by. Hmm. If you're wanting to get a bit... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, you would expect, yeah. But if you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. She pulls oh? a book from a toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Of course. Uh, let's see. We don't need another engine. We have a good light. So, yeah, yeah. for the moment. I'm, I'm turning on my roof light again for. <laughs> my eyes did does not like uh, sitting in a dark room with Una screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we don't actually need to get anything yet. So, let's keep saving up for the hydraulic rods. And for some upgrades, perhaps. Yeah. Remember, you don't have to, you know, to have all the materials at once. You can store whatever you have right here at the front. 
Uh, yeah, for the moment we want engine part and we want some rod space as well, so we can, well, have more fishing rods. Right. The... Wait, is there a wet dock? Yeah, that's out, that's out here. <laughs> that's just what people call a dock. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so everything. No, I have another question for you. Do you know your way around the boat? Uh, reasonably, I'd say. I'd hope. What the? Oh, we just shout of the damn boat. <laughs> yeah, that has caught me a few times as well. Okay. But yeah. 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 Is it the starboard and what the hell was the other one? Uh. Starboard and port sides, was it? Right. Starboard, port side, and then there's whatever you call front and back. Uh, the bow is up front, I'm pretty sure. And it's starting to get dark, so let's hurry back. Lights. Okay. Anything here? Yeah, we can just dump a bunch of these here in the cove itself. Since uh, crabs spawn in different ranges of depths, and the ones that we want are actually in the shallow waters. We just have to, well, wait until we get them. Now, oh, I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Everyone is starting their <laughs> freaking <laughs> book club today, huh? The fishmonger reaches I... under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few, skim a few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. <laughs> if I'm right, fisher folk do read a lot. Uh, it's not like you have much else to do on the waters when you aren't reeling something in. Yeah, and sure you think, oh, why don't you just use your laptop or something now, since it's modern era. Yeah, you may not have that connection out in the sea. Yeah. Speaking of, let's see if we can snatch some squids or groupers, since those pay decently well. The spawn points where they are is always the same, so if you know where a spot is, you can just go over there. There you go, one grouper. And there are some eels around the corner if we want to go risk that. Oh, there's always that red light to investigate as well. Uh, uh, the, the eye has awoken. What the? The... Okay, that freaked me out almost a little bit. We are not alone. And something has been caught. A common crab. So let's just grab that up. And let's just keep pretending that everything is okay. <laughs> there we go. Run crab on ice. And one grouper for 34. Have you seen that strange red light at night? It seems to be rising from the west. Even they are noticing, huh? For now, let's just keep calm and fish on. We can wake up early, which is actually pretty de you know, a pretty good choice since it does take a, take a bit of time to actually get out onto the waters. Yeah. So we can get a little bit more done. I think that's also an actual fisherman thing that Depending on what they fish, they may have to go out early. Yeah, certain fish are more active during different times. And let's yeah, see. and I will say to people, do respect fishermen. For many fishermen jobs, or either they go from harmless to actually pretty dangerous. 
Yeah, anyone who's seen Deadliest Catch can get a decent <laughs> guess at that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And depleted. <laughs> Not yet. E e even fishing along the shore can be dangerous in some waters. Like, like if you accidentally step on a stonefish. Yeah, here those can be pretty. Uh, is it venomous? They, 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 they have things in the in. Uh, what's that? That that that's not a whale. Nope. I'm pretty sure that's not a whale. And I did not eat that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just fish out a little bit further, since the stock <laughs> is getting a bit low nearby. <laughs> okay, another eel. Now let's get one more. And just head the hell back. <laughs> Okay. Over here we have some salvage that we could dredge up, but we don't have the equipment to. So we can't yet. What do you have this space? Oh, sustainable fishing, reading complete, check the ca cabin for bonus. And yeah, 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks while catching fish with a rod. A hefty tome in laborious near reads. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mention something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. Yeah, we should probably stop depleting the head of schools. Yeah. Um, and also, I still feel like the developer or someone who was in the team may have been a fisherman, fisherwoman. It could be. That's correct engine operation. Let's get reading on that, since, well, we kind of want to keep these things functional. Get some yeah. more salvage, and there's another bottle. So let's go grab that. Yeah, no, it, I, I think actually, that's actually a real thing. Many fishermen have been thinking about to be careful of not overfishing. But some extremely large fishing companies at the time, have been ignorant of it, but I've not been thinking money, 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 money. Yeah. You like know, fishermen like in these boats will understand that if you fish at them all up, there will be no fish to repopulate. Oh, yep. yep. stingray. Uh, luckily, we can put fish over here in a temporary storage. Uh, let's see. It doesn't tell you how much they are worth, but you can take a guess if you keep notes on the <clears throat> on the uh, tripping on my tongue in the encyclopedia. Now we know that mackerels are worth the least, so we can toss those overboard. Now we just have to what? move these around until we can fit. Hmm? I think I know you, how you can fit there. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can't you flip it? Yeah, we can as well. Yeah, for... You could move it up a little... No, no, it does fit there already, but... You could move it up and flip it so it, its tail is over the fishing rod. Yeah, like that. It still doesn't leave much extra room, but yeah, that also works. These are just yeah. permanently taken up until we put it somewhere else. We probably could have put the skimmer here up uh, vertically to give a bit more space, but oh well. There. And now let's head back before night falls and to sell these fish. If I were you supposed to be able to upgrade the storage? Yep. With every tier of our hull that we upgrade, we also get more storage space. And you could see a, a school before us vanished. That's because, well, mackerels are day fish. So they don't show up during the night. Okay. Let's go sell these fish. And we can actually 
remove these at any point that we want, or when we're at, at somewhere, and at any port, and just reinstall it like that. So yeah, that gives us a bit more functional space. And let's actually get one of these crab pots so we can speed up the fishing a bit. I was really called crab pots. I thought they were called crab cages or crab mm -hmm. traps. Oh, it caught something, but it's also out. And yeah, here we have one of these fiddler crabs, and you can see why you'd want bigger <laughs> pots. Oh, yeah, maybe uh, you you want to read the flavor text? <laughs> a relatively normal-sized crab with a preposterously large you know, claw. The claw can grip with incredible strength, but the arm is fragile and can be snapped off with ease. <laughs> so a bit similar to like a crocodile jaw. Okay, pick up the trap. And we can throw the other one out. I thought crocodile yours were extremely durable. Yeah, in that uh, they can close with massive force, but they you can't open them up for shit. If you if you do, you that's why they duct tape them shut, so that, because they can't put enough force to actually break the simple restraints like that. Okay, okay, now I get ya. Okay, we've got the other crab. Yeah, reminding us to get them repaired, which we will. And he wraps them up and sends them off. We get 59. Hmm. I don't know if we we'll, if we actually get more if we put in bigger you know, ones or not. Let's see. I think you do. Perhaps. These will do. Glad you got some use out of the little pots. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyards. Hmm. There's something else I wanted to... Hmm? No, forget it. Okay. We have no other fish. So... Let's see. We're still reading that one. Another person. Wait for more orders. Okay. And we have another message. 21st of August, 1927. So the day after. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. Rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It didn't penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is, uh, uh, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Yeah, fishermen are... Uh, the insulting way to say it would be that a lot of them are superstitious, but they have their own little uh, <clears throat> beliefs and such. If, if you, When you're out on the open water so much, uh, you'll want as many th uh, safe holds or uh, things to grab on for safety, even if it is a placebo as possible. Yeah. Uh. Okay, common crab. Frosty carapace and clicking claws, caught in the cage close to the coast. And relatively enormous... Yeah, okay, so that... Okay, this is the description when we hover over them. Hmm. And they are pretty pricey. A, li a bit less worth than the Black Groupers, but still very nice. Ooh. Let's see. Stingray. Good eating, but requires careful preparations. Okay, that is what I... It's, it doesn't say different things. I was thinking of the Stingray when I was talking about the flounder here. Which is very, yeah, which is very much worth it. Well, it is almost, it is about nine, a bit less than nine dollars per square. So it is still a very high price, but not as much as the grouper. Yeah, I did not know people eat, eat stingrays. Yeah, people eat just about anything if you prepare it enough. I don't think Let's you eat see. stonefish. Okay, yeah, I don't think you can eat stonefish. You would not be too surprised. Uh, well, let's uh, see. I think it's more. First, you need to uh, to wash out the venom. But I think, I think I have heard the people don't eat it because it, it tastes bone. Okay, it it does increase the price. I. I got a good feeling about these engines. They'll take you far away. Reliable too, provided you take care of them. 
It's repaired at for five bucks per five days. So it has basically a running cost of five a day. And the normal crabs are pretty cheap. But the big ones, the big ones are really worth the price. So let's equip that. And just dump it out right next to the, the other one. As we go look for groupers. And there should be these. Low. And if we do Peter. want the story to progress, we do need to go investigate uh, that. Yep. And do be careful about the plating. also creeping me out so uh, yeah, what the heck was that Ooh, that's a bunch of groupers Let's grab them while they can we can well stocked pack as well and uh, Kid. Pig like tusk protrude from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no, and with no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. Indiscriminately. Well, that's not that's not a normal fish, is it? Yep. Okay, let's get one more, see if we can get a bigger one. I guess it is. I mean, it's rain. Maybe you said you're not a fan of horror games and you have trouble with imagining you playing them, but this one kind of works for our playstyle. Yeah. Where's the light gone? Uh, sorry, I Someone accidentally gone? interrupted you again. Out there is the light. <laughs> Not even you are nervous. Yep. No, no. Yeah, they will fail from now every now and then. And there is something down there. There's a sh there's a wreck down there. So we will need to be able to dredge. Title drop. To uh. continue. Oh, good God. Yeah, as it is. If we find horror games like Dreads or the other one we are going to put on the list, the one, uh, a good cause. What was the other one we had to showcase? Uh, oh, the Count of... Uh, yeah, count of count something? Of some, yes, Count of something. Yeah. Those may be horror games that we may do. Mm, for we the have survived. They may be just creepy enough to play, but easier for story and commentating uh, on. Yeah. Like, we all get him. Uh, what? Something slid us in. Uh, Grey eel infected? Uh, that's going overboard. That is going overboard. I do not know what that does. I do not wish to know what that does. And I do not want to have it anywhere near this boat. Yeah, Especially as, when we have a curious catch. Yeah, and as I was to say, it is, is, is creepy enough. Like, we are creeping, creeped out. But we are not screaming anything. And we are all avoiding jump scares. But we all definitely... Yeah. yeah. And it looks like the panic meter m works more on a color basis instead of just moving around more and more because the eye was orange there earlier and I'll s I have I will fully say this that was a new thing that I hadn't encountered before how do you have so I don't know if that was something that's been added somehow I don't remember uh, no, updating no. this game it, it, it's it, it's been there from the start okay 
What is it today? You, I think you did the right sh choice. Yeah. You hand the grotesque fish you know, to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of cloth and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Nope. 80 bucks for the grouper. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Yeah, he will pay extra for those. And 140 bucks for all of that. And yeah, we now have a handkerchief with us. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish. Painted with delicate crimson thread. Man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is almost in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposal that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. And there we have progress. So, uh, there is little else that we can get right now. We can get this one. We'll have to remove one of these. Let's see, that gives plus 10, plus... Maybe, okay. Uh, back to town quickly. Let's open it up. And we can remove the skimmer. That removes our ability to catch shallow fish at the moment. And... Let's see. Actually, I think we'll remove this one. And put this one over there. There we go. And then we go buy ourselves an oceanic rod. Mechanically assisted, re assisted reels allow the catching of significantly larger species. So, let's get that, put it into place. And, let's see. I'm almost done with that. Okay. Grotesque fish. Caught a strange looking fish. Never seen anything like it in all my years. It died as soon as it was pulled from the water, and its scales are still pulsing with a strange rhythm. I don't want to handle it anymore, if headaches and ears are ringing slightly. Maybe the fishmonger at Red Mar will know more. Yeah, there is something seriously wrong with that fish. And these... <clears throat> the map is very good at marking out where we want to go, and each of those dots is a port where we can actually, well, dock. Alright. And the encyclopedia. Tusk grouper. Yeah. Very viable fish. But very dangerous to catch as well, of course. Uh, aberration of? Yep. Destroyed by the where they are. Yeah. One aberration of the Black Grouper. Okay. Now that we're well outloaded for some more fishing, let's grab some more and empty these out. See, just a normal crab. It does say the depth uh, at which they can be fought, uh, caught, so 0 to 25 meters for the common <coughs> crab. Fought? <laughs> okay, and I, I think the big ones can be caught in depths to uh, from zero to ten. So you actually will want to put them. You will want to put those uh, pots in shallow waters. Let's see, these are both coastal. 
And these are not. Some more eels. Okay, and we can get one more before we need to head back. I gotta grab some water. Oh, <laughs> That's one that we can't actually catch, so might as well head back while it's still more than safe enough. Probably for the best. Uh, yeah. okay. I'm kinda glad we streamed this for... It... Have we streamed anything like this before? Nope. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of those mutants? Uh, I presume they get sick. <laughs> well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish, and he will do. Let's keep this between the two of us. What are you up to? And, yeah, these common crabs are... Pretty useless, only like four bucks each. It's the big ones that you really want. Fans, okay. many fishermen on beaches have taken smaller crabs to use as bait. Good point, yeah. The well, fishes love crab meat. It's still but there. Really, if it's a crab meat on the hook for the meat, they don't need to bother getting through the shell or the pincers. Does the mayor have anything new to say? No. Okay. Let's undock early. And, well, head south. Maybe we can catch another grouper. No, this one hasn't refilled. Let the salvage over that way. And let's actually wait near the rocks until it actually lights. can actually grab one of these, since these are oceanic. There you go. A black tip reef shark. Door. Not even I close my door during streams. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I don't like I hear people with the side of the on the phone near the stairs. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Usually placid during the day, these predators enter a frenzied hunt when the sun sets. Okay. And let's head on over. Some mackerel over there. But this is where we want to be. And we're done with a buck. So, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta, provide, engines provide five more movement speed than listed. Not much, but still useful. <laughs> A preachy and disjoint, dis yeah, disjointed set of articles on how and how not to operate engines. In general, it was far too overcautious for my thinking. Don't blow up the engines, you're going to regret that. So, yeah. let's work on this one. Rods, rails and rigs. You do not want to be stuck out on the waters uh, without functional engines. You do not want that. At all costs. Yeah. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. <sighs> okay, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and fruits, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. Give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. His patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. I can drop. <laughs> Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. 
You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Hmm. We accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we are looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Well, we know something that might be worth. Return when you have something. And yeah, this is Blackstone Isle. And it, I think you can guess why it's called that. Yeah, and I think I found a good design for your Minecraft house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a workshop here. It looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. But it's locked. I have no idea what that is for. So for now... Let's be careful not to bump the back of our ship into the stones. Because you can easily damage your boat. Uh, we lack the shallow ability. Or we can catch ourselves some sharks. Yeah, I don't know how often sharks are eaten. Considering they are very much not healthy. Let's see. Bronze Whaler. Okay, we can put that there. Never heard of that one. A beautifully colored but deadly predator. Let's see, is there some way we can reposition you two to fit in better? There we go. It leaves us more space. I don't think we can fit another one though. So uh, let's head back past Scully here. Yeah, I should present this to people. I think you have everyone heard that there are some fish a women that are pregnant should avoid. Shark is one of them. Probably even the worst thing you can eat. Whenever I hear of sharks being eaten, it's like shark fin soup. Yeah, this is illegal. But you can eat a whole shark. Problem is... Due to be predators, it means they also... Just heavily loaded on lead and all that. That's or whatever metal it is that makes it very unhealthy for pregnant women to eat. Okay, and I, I like this. It doesn't tell you how much they are worth until you have actually sold one. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. For now, let's dredge. This well has only a single minigame. Just Move back and forth, and don't hit the sparrows. And that's a big-ass key. An abnormally large and heavy key, cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Yeah, bad news. Unfamiliar metal? Okay. And that Hello. Could, could be or calcum. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Eat one or mermaid. I have no idea. It's all that's, that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Yeah. We can find wrecks on the land here and there. And they will have some stuff that we can loot. And as it says here, you can return to these items later. So let's just grab what we can and we'll get back for that one later. And yeah, they have the little sparkle if you can look at something. I can see why people love this game. And that it will be would grow more in popularity. A slab of rock juts, uh, juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Okay. 
We know of only one curved species of fish here at the moment. Oh, hello. A little uh, glow stick in the water. That is actually a good thing when we see that. But for now, we'd rather see the dock. It's many lights. Okay, one crab for the running costs of this crab. Oh, and a big one. We can leave it here for the moment, but we are grabbing that before we actually rest. I think as long as you leave a crab in the in a, in a pot, it will stay fresh, since well, you haven't killed it yet. Okay. Hmm. I haven't seen that strange red light in a while. Wonder what it was. And these fish are pretty pricey, it seems. Let's see. 80 for that one and 95 for that one. Okay. Yep. Wrong button. There we go. Almost 200 again. Don't overcommit yourself. Especially when that sun starts going down. But have to come back with a small cast and not come back at all. Very yeah. true. Okay. We have another well, research part. If I remember right, man, there, are, there has been plenty of fishermen that have lost their lives due to... Yeah. Staying out longer than they should. Because of greed or anything else, like a, a debt they have to pay. Or yeah. th th There's many reasons. Let's see, we could get a better crab pot, a more efficient one, one to three catches per day with an inventory of 4x4. Four four. Or a hardy one. Additional strength allows this cage to last longer in the water, last two extra days, and is a guaranteed two catches a day, but also with 4x4. Four four. And then we have the large crab pot, which is three days, two per day, but it has another row. And let's see, those big crabs, they uh, let's actually check that out by just getting it. There. Okay. Five spots. Um, yeah, a 4x4 four four would be able to hold two of these. Let's actually... Um, there and that. Yeah, I, I think any nor any of the upgraded ones would be able to just uh, would be able to hold two, and a lot of the smaller ones. Okay, There's someone else who wants to talk here. You approach a woman sitting on the dark side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Let's see. Peaceful, difficult. Don't want to talk about it. It's peaceful. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forwards, moving along. It's not too bad. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Yeah, that'll make a new port for us. <laughs> just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Actually, I think we can. I think we can already dock there. I'd I'm not sure if she adds anything because I didn't go back to check on her once I. Put her yeah, there. Oh. Why is the nice housekeeper here? <sighs> we're actually we're going to her. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? The best one to ask is the one who's supposed to keep people from wrecking their ships. She eyes you suspiciously. Hmm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries a wreckage near uh, from the sea. Some nights you can see an, a natural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. Well, we, we can. It's a big-ass key. 
So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the ladder up so that it shines brightly upon your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the park's tricks? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know? I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're getting out and what you're doing out there. Mayor? Do you know of any shipwrecks? Shipwrecks? Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around this side of the island. It should make fishing a bit easier for you. Why does that thing keep going off? It's never gone off before for me. Or I just read a lot right. quicker. I think I know yeah. why. Hmm? Is the headset the mood? <laughs> Around the sack, though? Mood. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you go ahead. As, I would say it's uh, to a help uh, with the spooky feel and all that. Yeah. It is a I don't know if I say full horror game, but it's definitely within the horror area. Yeah, it's definitely horror adjacent. Around the back though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You want to avoid that area. Any strange occurrences? Well, I heard that my counterpart in Lero Mero met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal, the next he was pacing the shoreline hurling people's belongings into the sea. After some days like that, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to see our children. Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. Okay, sounds like something worth looking into. But not tonight. For tonight, we sell a fish, or rather a crab. Yep, wrong button again. Yeah, yeah. what's this about the cabin that keeps flashing up? Uh, let's Wait. see. Hmm? I, when was the last time your character slept? Uh, a decent time ago. <laughs> so let's go finish that quick. Uh, let's see. Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth net you're working with. Okay. With that, we go to sleep. And the light is indeed gone. So we get up early. Uh, something new here? Yeah, I said that earlier. There's something yeah. about the cabin. Okay, that's the new location to drop off the materials. I don't know if it's actually there before you get the, the pink pursuit. Let's see. It, yeah, it sort of is. You just can't do anything like that, that there. I remember someone actually found it before they were meant to. Okay. And they just mentioned, oh, it looks like a field. Something like a, this looks like a build on a location, which is nice. Yeah, but we'll that's have to it. check there sometimes after we drop her off. Hmm. Let's see. Spoke to a builder on the dock at Greater Marrow. Kept talking about moving on. I didn't seem entirely with it. Asked if I could bring materials to Steel Point, an island to the north, so they could build a house there. I'm sure I can dredge up something. There's good wood in some of the wrecks. And the collector. The collector has installed dredging equipment on my boat to locate some relics for him. He said he'll reward me well for any I return to him at Blackstone Idol. Checking out shipwrecks and the like would be a good place to start. He mentioned that the locals might be able to point me to some. Okay, all, almost halfway done with that one. Okay. Uh, let's... Actually, we can put that somewhat to use right now. Go to the dry dock. 
Yes, yes. And let's put that in there. We can dredge up plenty more wood as we go. And that yeah. storage can be accessed from everywhere. Ooh, hello. Now let's leave those for the way back. And let's not try to get hit by that. I did not know that was a thing in this game. But it does make sense. Yeah. Oh, those were night fish, apparently. Okay. And there we go. And some islands in the back that we can also go and take a look at first. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta, citrine ring. A gold ring clasping a glowing citrine. Glowing? Let's see. Old iron chain. Junk to the untrained eye. But there is some good metal here. Someone might pay for this. Uh, only seven and a half. Twenty-five for that. But they do take up only one spot each. So, good little filler. Also, storage. Let's put this one in there. Yeah, uh, this is so many new dialogue for one of the NPCs. Yeah, or actually a new NPC in general. But let's give the Dark Walker a chat uh, first. Do we ever process shipments for Blackstone Isle? Metal Ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. He flicks through a large logbook. It appears to be a record of shipping manifests. Thought so. Doesn't even have a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. Uh, shipwrecks? I know there's a few around the eastern side of the island. Mostly rotted away by now, I would expect. Or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls kept hitting rocks in the fog, I guess. There's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get turned around. Uh, strange occurrences. Uh. I overheard a tale in the tavern some years ago. Sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some 20 odd years ago, a fisherman from these parts hauled up an old sealed casket from the seafloor. That can never be good. They pried it open and took what was inside and it for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it has cloaked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket? Uh, what was in that accursed casket? Nobody knows. All of the crew that laid eyes on its contents went mad, or worse. The casket and crew have since disappeared without a trace. But the fog remains. Crazy stuff, huh? Yeah. Oh dear. Means we have a grieving father. Shipwrecks? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed. Tremors of grief rock his body. I was wondering. I notice you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. If you were able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. You were a bronze belt buckle, especially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Strange occurrences. Bronze. I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry, over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Location on our map and a new pursuit. Met a man in Little Marrow who lost his son in a shipwreck some years ago. Said they never found the body. He wants me to try looking for his son's personal effects. Mention an engraved belt buckle. I should check the nearby wrecks near around the island. It's not often you see a bronze belt buckle nowadays. And yeah, let's see, we get. Well, we have the key. 
Let's go bring that over. Take a bit of distance from the dock to be safe. And might as well pull off some equipment. Or some salvage whilst we're going. Simple enough. Oh, now I get the puzzle. Yep. Stay in the lanes. Because, like with fishing, if you miss it, you, you will lose progress. And, yeah. Won't get progress for a bit. And let's hope we don't get struck by lightning as we go. I haven't been struck by lightning during my... Uh, while I was playing before. Oh, hello. Uh, I think one of my characters in RimWorld almost got struck. <laughs> Today! Ah, it's coastal waters, or coastal fish. And the, the reason, I didn't see it happen, but the reason I think it happened is due to... Well, they were on fire. <laughs> that is a good sign, yeah. So I think uh, it hit near, near her enough to make her catch fire, the poor thing. Yeah, basically everything gets superheated, so your clothes could catch fire from getting struck. Yeah. <clears throat> oh dear. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. <sighs> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key. Teeth, the heads, now somehow it seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is that all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. <sighs> yep, we can get powers from delivering, from handing in these relics. Yeah, but powers you should be careful with. Definitely. How long have you lived here? Hmm. Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. So, about the same time that that casket was dug up... I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downward into the deep... Do you know oh, who owns these relics? Yeah, those are basalts I see now from this angle. Yep. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything oh. else? Did he talk over something accidentally? No. Uh, he just said yes when we asked who, if he knew who owned these relics. And he refuses to speak more of it. Oh. And yeah, where should I look for the relics? He'll just point us back to the Gale Cliffs. Yeah. He'll just repeat what he said there. And with that... Uh... Let's see. We have one research part. I kind of want to go for this one since it doubles up as a coastal and shallow uh, fishing rod. So we can change out the one that we have for, well, one that will do both. We could also get a better uh, engine, though. Or better fishing pods. 
I kind of want to go towards this one. So let's get the improved engine. And with that, we unlocked access to, well, research the refined outboard engine. High quality components and excellent craftsmanship. A reliable engine trusted by seafarers. Okay. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Yep. So use carefully. Yep, because when we start using it, that heat bar goes up. And as you can see, it goes pretty dangerous. For now, let's fish up some fish and dredge some salvage, or in this case, valuables. Let's see. Worn gold ring. Okay. Gold always holds its value. Okay. There's another salvage spot over that way, I think. Yeah, haste is good for cutting down on travel time, but you do need to be careful with it, because it will damage your engines, and when your engines are damaged, well... Bad things can happen. Bad things will happen. Okay, some cloths. And let's leave it at that, so we can actually go back. Uh, rearrange a bit. We can. Oh, we could catch one more, but we, <laughs> there wasn't any more than that. Okay, can't fish here because we dropped the other one off. Okay, crabs. Yep. Oh, you found some crab. And a tiny one. <laughs> okay. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Mm. No, it's you. Who are you expecting? Your engine. It sounded like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Oh. Rejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Uh, okay. Oh. Sell our fish. 25 for those. Pretty decent. Okay. And we can put away some materials. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. This one requires a bit of cloth. And two wood. Let's put those in there. Uh, any further wood that we find at the moment, I'll put towards uh, the builder. And with that, uh, let's see. Oh, we finished this one. Uh, rods will reel fish in 10% more efficiently, effectively. Straightforward, simple techniques on operating fishing equipment more efficiently, or effectively. Bit. Not much. I, did, I didn't already know though. And now we have three little spots to check out. But we'll do that in the morning. At least the, the world's worst nightlight has gone now. And we've got more crabs already again. Okay. First off, let's check behind Little Marrow. Oh, and there's that glow again. And there goes it again. What was that? Yeah. I, I, I was not the only one hearing that. Nope. Good. Well, I'm pretty sure that was not my tummy. For once. What do you mean for once? <laughs> okay. Nope. It's a bit trickier. 
and the bronze belt buckle. Engraved, but almost uh, every detail is entirely worn away. Okay, and here we have metal. This we need. Is it heavy metal? <laughs> uh, heavy enough to sink, so yeah. And there. Uh, if we fiddle around, we can fit one more. Oh no, oh, I used to ma you realize you can't, you oh. might be able to make a pun. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go, three pieces you of metal. Missed, you only missed your chance to make the pun, only to let you catch it again. Okay, uh, let's ignore the flounders since they aren't really worth it. Knuckles, this, we can leave alone. I think this is the point that the, the flowers is unsure if they should feed in salt or happy. And let's just rush across the waters. Because there's still some light. Three, two, one. Alright. Big and crab. this. See. I'd be surprised if he doesn't notice it. What, the big uh, <laughs> masturbation arm of the crab? Uh, what, what did you say you were earlier doing? <laughs> uh, oh, we don't actually have any face with us. Uh, you said you were fiddling around, correct? Yep. Uh, what's uh, the crab's name? Fiddler crab. There you go. Now we just gotta put it on a hot tin roof. Uh, Fiddler what? on the roof. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. no. We can now I, get I, the I'm upgrades. Going I'm going <laughs> under the table. Uh. I, I, th I think Fiddler on the Roof actually doesn't have anything to do with a hot tin roof, but I know I remember something from an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch that had uh, well Salem on a hot tin roof for a, a, <laughs> a game of witches charades. Uh. Oh. Anyways, I'd like it showcase <clears throat> it previews where it will where it will uh, add or modify these cargo spaces. So yeah, it'll put, it'll turn these two, so that they can hold engines as well. So let's just get that, and we can get rod space as well. There, and now we've upgraded our capacity for fishing and for engines quite a bit. Yeah, only uh, the hole. Now we do that by getting through to the next tier. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull and adds 5 cargo spaces. Hull can sustain one additional impact. Ooh. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, return the belt buckle. Meta man in the. Yep, we already read that. And let's go do that before we finish up. So we rest. Again in sync, I just looked at the clock as you said yeah. that. Okay, just speed across towards the rising sun. Three, two, one. And so we haven't seen any of those spouts or whirl little whirlwinds here since the first tri trip over. So, what's with that? Is that a panic thing? I think that's random, but you won't avoid them. Yeah. About that belt buckle. Yes, we will give it. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is... This is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You return him to me. 
please, take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. I thought the timer went off there, but no, there was a notification on my phone, which I thought I set to do not disturb, but it keeps jumping out of that. And yeah, no cash reward. We could have sold it to the trader as well, I'm pretty sure. But that would have been a dick move. Yeah. Plus, we can already sell him the ring and the chain for a bit of change. And I think with that, we have two of these. So... Let's research and get the refined outward engine. And no, I did not have this planned out or anything. <laughs> Just lucky to get that now. Uh, let's see. Nothing new to ask. And with that, let's just head back to base and see how much it costs for the new engines. Because we'll want those before we head out. We'll definitely want those. Oh yeah, God! Oof, not that. What? I'm not that. You wake up in two hours. Probably why I'm feeling sleepy. Okay. Grab you. Get the pots. Get you. Pick up the pots. I I, I got an idea. Him? Yes. Are you for arm wrestling with a fiddler crab? Well, it does say that their arms tear off pretty easily, so it would be unfair. All right. Okay. 39 in crab. Pretty decent. Uh, wait. I think I've been fanned. Like, it makes of uh, who tests us whose arm first. Okay. She wants 300 for each of these, so we want 600. And yeah, there's the improved board, which gives 15 knots or more closer to 16. But this one gives almost double at 26.3. More like 80% more, but we definitely want these. Because, yeah, we, would, we can fit in two of these, but we can't fit in another of these. Actually, we could if we put them all sideways, but uh, let's see, 45-ish, and that would be 52.6, yeah, so yeah, definitely better to get two of these than three of these. Uh, let's see, we can sell these if we want, but I don't know how much further the... <clears throat> The engine's spaces will upgrade. Hmm. Actually, let's sell this one. And then we buy one of these. And put it in there. Because this one operates better than those anyway. So if any of these we want to save up, it's this one. And yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to get more fish to get another one. And we have a little bit of time left, so we might as well go catch some more fish. Let's see, we can't get those, but we can get some sharks. And yeah, you can already see the improved speed, huh? Yeah. Okay. Bloodfin shark. It's another aberrant. Uh... Let's take a read. Yeah. Then we probably should call it for less than a minute. And just a normal fish as well. Uh, where, there we go. Tendons and sinews stretch over the fins of this bloody predator. Powerful jaws are clad in exposed muscle. Yeah. Nasty beasts. Mm. Just throw out some you know, crab pots. And head over here. The, fish, the fishmonger wanted an aberrant. Well, he's getting a pricey one. Have you got... That's the timer. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Yes. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. So, there we go. 
fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing its hands around its slimy body. That's a big fish, so he's, he's hugging, hugging that thing like a body pillow. <laughs> Here. 350. Yeah, definitely a good sell. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. I'm going to take these two. They have no use to me. Hmm? Do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Take my fish. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar across, sliding across it. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Oh dear gods. Yeah. Uh, better we go to the storage, we disable this one, and then we get a second one of those. For a second oh, you have you don't have one at the moment. I think they reset every day, so if we just take a quick rest. Wait for midnight to pass. There we go. One more. Install that. And it's day by the time we're done. Uh, should we install it to run correctly? Mm, mostly. <laughs> it's functional. Ish. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But yeah, we'll have to call it here though. With the fishmonger enjoying his sharky body pillow. I did not need that mentally matched. <laughs> also, nice little thing here. Important color, negative color for people who are colorblind, of course. Select fishing mode. Enable this if you're having difficulty completing the fishing or dredging mini games. Okay, it might take a bit longer, but you'll always successfully complete the minigame. Okay, nice. And yeah. Save and quit. And that's our first stream of Dredge. I, I yeah. have to say that went a, that went different than I actually expect because I got really lucky on the first time I played in that I got an aberrant fish really quickly. Oh, mate. Yeah, as I said, I'm looking forward to stream this one. This, first of all, is our first actual, like, yes, sure, Legacy of Kings are always big spooky, but they are not aimed to be horror in that manner. Yeah. This one kinda is, but for once it's a horror game that works well for us. Yeah. Since we don't have to worry really about resource management or such. Oh yeah, I'm um, scared. Yeah. We'll still continue with Guacamele, of course, which we'll likely finish up next time when that comes up. Likely next Saturday, until unless we're doing extra streams during the week. <clears throat> because we are going back uh, as long as possible to our schedule where we stream on Tuesday, uh, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Unless, of course, we get bored <laughs> and want to stream more. Uh. Yeah. And I think... Oh, yeah. I think the idea is to have this one also on Saturday. Yeah. So, yeah. Saturday will be the side quest uh, day. And Sunday, we can do an extra one or do something else. And did the title just glitched out there for a moment? Yeah, it is. It's twitching. Oh, dear gods. Okay. For now, let's quit the game. Head on over here. And we're going to look for someone to raid. So, as usual, get the browser. Uh, let's see. Okay. There was someone I was watching before we were uh, before the stream. And they they were actually playing Rayman Legends, but now they are now they've moved on to well a game we touched on earlier today, Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen. Oh dear! So let me change the screen share.
to Twitch. And let's see, we're not go we're still going to go over the others that uh, we, <clears throat> the other names in the list here. And there's quite a few people on now. Uh, let's see, we have Zeri the Fox streaming satisfactory as, well, I want to say usual, but it's, it's typically satisfactory or Path of Exile. Next up, we have Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, must be the Metal Network uh, <coughs> collection that released recently. I am somewhat interested in that. I, the first way I ever heard of learned of Mega Man was through uh, the Mega Man show with that uh, Mega Man Battle Network or something like that. It's been a while. It was a pretty good show. Next up, we have uh, Nico Silverado, who is again streaming that very confusingly named Kingdoms Heart Kingdom Hearts. Uh, HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. Then we have Pika Girl with Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Uh, we haven't... Okay, what, what is this? Is it some sort of a uh, fan-made Pokemon game? Uh, also, that's a new model, I think. Or a new model outfit, at the very least. Uh, next up, Azra Arcane with Resident Evil 4 and... <laughs> that is definitely a, a new model outfit. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, you can see this, right? Yeah. You I can see, see it is. And I'm, I'm worried they are getting eaten by their own clothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's teeth on the lower end there. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. We have Derpy Doo with Cult of the Lamb. They are still busy with that, it seems. And it looks like they have the Twitch integration in, uh, active. Uh, apparently that didn't work for the first while that the game was actually released. So nice to see that it is working now. Next up we have Redacted Cat with Fear 2 Project Origin. Okay. Next up I'm a Flanker with Call of Duty Warzone. Big Free Streams is streaming Deus Ex. Smoops on the Nonsense is Mount... Uh, is playing Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Touch Scaly Tail with Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. I should go back to that game. It has been updated quite a bit since last I played. And last but not least for now, we have Sherlock... No, we don't have Sherlock. We have Halloween 4545 streaming Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. So, shall it be any of them or shall it be the person I was looking at before? Uh, Jimmy McGinger with Dragon's Dogma. Let's go with Jimmy. Okay. They were playing Rayman Legends earlier, co-op, with uh, Carla, it was said. I'm not sure if that was their, their wife or their girlfriend uh, or not, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's go you know, back to our place. Now that I've copied the name, slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, I see you over there still, Sensei, uh, sens uh, sensei in the chat. And uh, thank you as uh, yeah, thank you as well, Glacier Boy, even though you did have to go. You're welcome. It's for <clears throat> We're grateful for you being here all the same. We are um, indeed. And as always, thank you, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome, Spolbis, my friend. And with that, let's start that raid. Uh, we'll have a rest day tomorrow. We can catch up on some Clone Wars then. And I can upload and, well, uh, yeah, just upload and edit the videos of the previous streams. I haven't done that in about a week again. I need to make a small edit to the previous stream. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> It'll still take a bit of use to getting used to, to getting back to a schedule, but it will overall be better for my health, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it is, but I have been worried for it many times. Yeah, but for now, uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then, and beware be safe, everyone. Uh, yeah, be safe, everyone, and watch out for flying arrow squid. <laughs> and uh, the deep. The deep. Now, let's get that apple, Helian. <laughs>